Hey, it's me, MLV. Here is chapter 26 of Future, and this one is titled Kyrie Part 1. Just a disclaimer before we start, this chapter delves into cheating partners. If this is a trigger for you, then maybe skip this chapter. When was the last time you went out with a guy? He asked, almost immediately regretting the question. Not that this is a date. Cammy quickly yelled on the end. Kyrie laughed. <laughs> it's fine, I know it's not a date. The last time I went out with a guy was my husband. That was like two, three years ago. How long were you married for? Cammy asked casually. A year, she replied, taking another lick of her ice cream. Then he cheated on you and you kicked his ass to the curb? Cammy added with a flick of his own leg to emphasize the kick to the curb. Yeah, something like that, she said, her own words sounding emotionless. You make it sound so simple, but it was far from it, she said with a sigh. I wish I never met him. How did you meet? Cammy asked, feeling braver now that she hadn't yelled at him. At a nightclub, actually, she said. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Who actually finds love in a club? She laughed hollowly. But I didn't think it was love at first sight. And what? He asked you out then and there? Cammy asked, biting down on the edge of his cone. Nah, I was out with Misa and another friend. And he and his friends approached us. He picked me. Of all people, like, completely bypassed Misa, and you know how hot she is. I couldn't believe it, and he was the hottest of his group too, she said, reliving the memory as she chewed a mouthful of ice cream and cone. We just clicked, you know? Like, we had almost everything in common. He was so smooth. God, was he smooth. He just knew all the right things to say, she added as she hopped up on the park table and sat down. Yeah, I know those type, Cammy said. But I'm not that smooth, though, he added with a chuckle. You're pretty close, Cammy, she said, glancing at him. Okay, but go on, so Mr. Perfect had got you wrapped around his little finger and... Yeah, he asked for my number, didn't want to sleep with me, didn't want a one-night stand, he just, like, seemed like he was genuinely interested in me? Interested in me, little old me? <laughs> Sounds too good to be true, Cammy added as he took another bite of his ice cream. Yeah, unfortunately it was, Kari said glumly. We started dating the following week, and it was amazing. He was so attentive to everything. He picked up on every little thing I did. He would send me flowers at work, pick me up, take me on random dates and long drives, and we'd just talk like we had known each other forever. She sighed. He was everything. There was a pause as they both ate and pondered. Then what happened? Cammy asked, wanting to know how it ended. Well, after three months of dating, he proposed to me. I was stoked. He was an absolute catch, in my opinion. We were so in love, and he was all I could think about. We had a shotgun wedding because why should we have to wait any longer, he said. He flew us out to Tuscany, and we had a super romantic sunset wedding, a two-week honeymoon. She pulled her ice cream down from her mouth, and then when we got back and started living our lives together as a married couple, things went south. Cammy finished his ice cream and sat down next to her. What happened then? He asked gently. Well, we got back and he told me that he was in line for a big promotion and that I could quit my job because he'd make enough for the two of us. So, did you quit your job? Cammy asked. Yeah, I did. And the next day he got the promotion, she said. He was so excited. He took me out for a lavish dinner and we celebrated like we'd won the lottery. Hmm... Cammy hummed. Mm, next few weeks were okay, Kyrie continued. He had to work a little later, so instead of coming home at 5.30, he'd be home at 6, which was fine, I could deal with that. Then he started to lose a little interest in me. Well, that's what it felt like. I wasn't working, so I'd be waiting for him to come home so I had someone to talk to. I just want to chat, and he just wanted to lounge in front of the TV. Cammy nodded for her to continue. And then instead of coming home at 6, it would be 7.30 and he wouldn't want dinner because he ate at the office or said something like, oh, I grabbed something quick on the way home. He wasn't interested in me anymore. Now, sex life took a nosedive too. And did you think he was seeing someone else? Cammy asked, glancing across at her. Yeah, probably, she said. I tried talking to him about how I was feeling lonely and discarded, but he'd just sound crazy. 
and that I shouldn't be watching those midday dramas. I asked if I could get a job and he refused. I was nearly going insane. She sighed. One time I turned up at his work to drop him off some lunch and say hi and he almost treated me like he was embarrassed to see me. That hurt. A tear slipped down her cheek. Kaminari's heart was breaking. Kairi had stopped eating her ice cream now and it was dripping down her hand and arm but she hadn't noticed. About um, 10 months into our marriage he, um, he sometimes wasn't even coming home at night and claimed he was sleeping in the office. I was so stupid. I should have known, but I believed him, she said, sniffing. At close to one year of marriage, I started getting suspicious, so I stalked him one night, and I saw him leave the office arm in arm with another woman. It broke me, she said as more tears spilled down her cheeks. And there ends chapter 26. Stay tuned for chapter 27 coming tomorrow.